Welcome to another Tuesday Takeaway. Glad you've taken a moment or two to join with me as we reflect on our teaching from this last weekend here at New Life. Back into the book of Joshua, our series is Courage Over Fear. And this week, we talked about our ability to live on top of the world. Now, when things are good, that can seem a little bit easier But when things are bad, how do we live, regardless of if things are great or if things are bad, how do we live above what's going on on the outside of our lives? If we're going through tragedy, we can still live on top of the world. If we are experiencing the highest of highs, of course, we can live on top of the world. Well, the Israelites, uh, in their interaction with the Gibeonites in Joshua chapters 9 and 10, uh, are instructive to us. And I want to hone in on our final point from the message on Sunday, and that was ask great things of God. As Joshua was embroiled in the battle and engaged with the, Gibeon, or with the Gibeonites against the kings of southern Palestine, uh, seeking to, to uh, take them out, Joshua prays, Son, stand still. That's an amazing prayer, and God answered it. And I really wonder... How much of our prayers, how many times are we asking great things of God? Are we insulting God with how small our prayers are? Or are we honoring God with how big our prayers are? And I really want you to think about that. I want you to examine your prayer life and see what you're asking God for. Is it all about you or is it about, is it about his kingdom, his glory, his fame? And once you determine whether you're the center of your prayers or God, and of course God needs to be the center of our prayers, then determine what are you asking of God. For Joshua, when he prayed, son, stand still, it was all about honoring God, fulfilling what God had called Israel to do, and that is uh, take the promised land. For you and I, God wants us asking great things of him. And so I want you to stretch your faith with me this week. I want us to ask great things of God, whether it's in relationships or finances or your own walk with God or for divine healing or whatever, let's not be afraid to ask great things of God. I'm excited to see what will happen in your life and in mine as we make that more of a focus in our lives. To find out uh, the, the whole story of living on top of the world, Uh, You can go to our website, ltlife.org, and check out Sunday's message. Thanks for being with me, and I trust, Lord willing, that you'll be able to be with me again next week as we take another look at the weekend teaching in another Tuesday Takeaway.